it's Liv. Today I have another vegan school lunch ideas video for you. I will link the bento box that I'm using below um, because I get a lot of questions about that. I also get a lot of questions about can I make these ahead of time um, or will like the fruit or whatever go bad. I usually make my lunch, well, when I was making my lunches, I would make them the night before. With a lot of these recipes, I've actually left them in the fridge for two or three days and eaten them after that, and they've still been fine. I think because I pack them really tightly and then the lid is really tight on them as well, so I think that kind of keeps the airflow to a minimum. So that's all I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So to make the first recipe, we're going to take some cooked black beans and just mash them until they're a bit smoother with a fork. And then add some salsa. I just added this one, it's a little bit runny so it would help me mash the black beans a little bit smoother but any salsa that you have and like will work. Then just spread it onto a tortilla in as thin of a layer as you can and it doesn't have to be perfect but just do your best. And then I added a line of tomatoes, lettuce, vegan cheese, and then I rolled it up tightly, kind of like I was making sushi. Then to cut it, I cut it into a few bigger pieces and then I cut each of those in half just so that I kind of made them all even. Then I just added some apples and grapes. And to make sure that the apples don't get brown, you can always just add some lime or lemon juice on top. Now we are going to make the cashew cheese dip. Three quarters of a cup of cashews, three quarters of a cup of water, six tablespoons of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and blend that up. You can also add some salt and pepper to taste if you would like that. If you don't have a super high speed blender, you want to soak the cashews in water overnight just so that they soften up and they will blend smoother. But if you have a Vitamix or anything like that, you don't have to do that. It should look like this once it's done, a really thick, creamy consistency. Then get some corn chips. I'm just taking these basil flavored corn chips. They're super good. They're from Pete's Fine Foods. And you're going to take some of your cashew cheese dip. It's so creamy and delicious. And put that in the littlest container of your bento box. Then I added some salsa next to that. For the rainbow wrap, just get a large tortilla, spread some vegan mayo on it. This is optional, of course, but if you like vegan mayo, then put some on. And then put on your favorite sauce. So I added some barbecue sauce, but you could also do sweet chili sauce or hot sauce or anything like that. Then I added some strips of pan fried tempeh, and the way that I did this is I just put some strips of tempeh in a pan with a little bit of oil, um, but you could also bake it or just dry fry it in a nonstick pan. Then I added some lettuce, yellow peppers, carrots, tomato, red cabbage, and some avocado. So you can see I tried to use all the colors of the rainbow except for blue. And then just roll it up super tightly and cut it in half. Then on the side I just added some leftover chopped veggies that I had. For the second box you're going to take a can of coconut milk and scoop the coconut cream off the top of it. 
Then add a little bit of maple syrup and cinnamon and stir it up. If possible, you want to refrigerate this overnight because it will thicken up a lot. And then just peel a banana and slice it into coins. And then put those into your bento box with the sweet coconut cream. And then on the side of that, I just added some granola. So we're kind of making like a deconstructed banana parfait. So the way I would eat this is to just dump the granola on top of the bananas, kind of spread it all out in the bento box, and then pour the coconut cream on top. So for our next meal, we're going to take some washed kale and just break it up into smaller pieces with your hands. Then sprinkle on about a tablespoon of lemon juice, a drizzle of maple syrup, and then you're going to, it's called massaging it, but basically you're just going to squeeze it a lot with your hands to make the kale less tough and less bitter. And then just make sure it's all coated and set it aside. Then in another bowl, take some cooked quinoa, some chickpeas, and some sliced apple, and then I added some curry powder on top of that. I also squeezed some lime over it, and then just stir it up. Then I just flattened that out so that it wasn't spilling over the sides. And I added two of these cookie dough bliss balls. So the way I made these is just by taking dates and cashews and then some vanilla and chocolate chips and blending all of that together. These ones are so amazing. They taste honestly quite a bit like cookie dough. I think it's the vanilla. Then I thought it needed a little bit more color so I just added some diced tomatoes on top and a wedge of lime. So going back to the kale salad, all I did was add some purple cabbage as well as some blueberries. Then I dumped that into the bento box and I added some extra blueberries on top because they are so good and they go really well with the sweetness of the salad. video. I have some more back to school recipes coming at you. I've got some breakfast and some after school snacks and some cheap vegan meals on a budget. Leave any video requests or questions and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>